And that is it. I guess we get his power armor and everything now, too. I guess that's why he was out of his power armor. I guess he left during that. I have no idea where stuff is, and honestly, I... Actually, I probably should care. Where is Danza's uh, quarters? <laughs> oh, Ingram's here. Nice. Oh, oh, here we go. Here's Kells. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding Dance has been settled... Fuck you. ...we can return to our primary mission. No rest for the weary. We'll rest when the Institute is a smoking ruin. Until then, Elder Maxon and I expect you to be at your best. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat. The Railroad. Of course. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Why is the Railroad such a threat? Even with their relatively small numbers, the Railroad is a constant threat to our operations. They've already proven to be resilient against superior forces. With a knack for disappearing when cornered, worse still, they possess the capability to help Synths flee the Institute. If we intend to end the Synth menace, we need to plug the leaks. Destroying the Railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Oh shit, damn. <laughs> Should have buried those idiots when I was dealing with the chip. Yes, it's quite disappointing that you allowed them to proceed this far. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. <laughs> Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on PAM's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put PAM's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. Anything useful you can tell me about Pam? We have very little information on it. Its primary function is supposed to be using mathematical calculations in order to predict future events. I have no idea how successful it was, but if the Railroad's been using Pam for this long, it's got to be providing them with some sort of benefit. I'm sure Proctor Quinlan would be pleased to have it in his possession. I think that should be sufficient information to assist you on the mission, Paladin. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Add Victorium, Paladin. Oh geez, you are now enemies with the railroad. Okay, interesting. I'm back here in one piece, okay? I'll try my best. Can I just can I just laugh that immediately they're basically just like they don't even tell us at first that the railroad trying to help synth? Not like that. It doesn't make any sense. You kill the institute. What kind of synths are they gonna do? Oh, here we go. There's all my failed quests. Yeah, I, I guess here it kind of makes more sense that the railroad aren't happy with us. Yeah, there we go. I can't really do anything. But I guess it makes sense that the railroad aren't happy with us just because of like if they know we're working with the with the railroad uh, far enough which by the way i'm surprised the game didn't warn me about what was going on that we were gonna have to kill the railroad it just kind of popped up now but um is that it wait what didn't this just say it failed <laughs> the boston i'm so confused i thought i failed that one whatever okay but um I'm surprised there wasn't like, oh, hey, you failed the option kind of thing. Anyway, there is a holotape over here I want to play. Report. Knight Wagner reporting. It appears the intel claiming the old CIT ruins house an entrance to the Institute was incorrect. My scouts and I spent days combing the location for a way in and turned up nothing other than a couple of minor casualties. When a contingent of synths boxed us into an old tunnel where we were sniffing around, my immediate recommendation would be to follow the trail back on whoever provided that intel. I suspect some wastelander is feeding Proctor Quinlan lies to earn some caps. Hmm, interesting. Don't know if that has to do with anything at all, but if it's just, uh, you know, telling us some politics about the world. 
but no, I, I again, I think it gives, I think it makes more sense because it's like they don't really know what's going on in the institute, so it could make sense that we um. Oh, geez, I'm in this wrong room. Uh, you know, I just realized I really should come around here and read a lot of the stuff here. Who are you? Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I went into his room by accident. Whoops. Oh, no, not the... Uh, actually, no, the quarters might be where I need to go. But no, I probably need to spend at least part of the next session reading out some of the stuff here. Yeah, maybe this maybe this will be three sessions. Is this my new room now? I don't see Dan's power armor at all, so I don't think this is it. Unless that is Dan's I mean, I, I don't know. I, I expected like a terminal, and um, but but no, I expected like a terminal or something. Anyway, because like is one of these power armor, power armor. Okay, this is the power armor get. Okay, so I'm guessing this is Dan's power armor. I could be wrong, but again, I'm guessing this is it. Unless this, because no, I think I think the power armor I'm wearing is part of the one that they gave us. Unless I'm wrong. Okay, so those quarters were Dan's room. Um, I also forgot, and I probably should have done it this way as I was reading. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that probably probably wouldn't have been the best way to do it. But no, if you talk to Dan's and then you say, no, we're not going to do it. Like I said, if you go out to the outside area, uh, Elder Maxon will be there and he'll yell at you and he will try to get you to kill Dan's right away. Probably should have done it then. Would have made it more interesting, especially since my... The whole thing with my character here is that he likes Dan's. You know, obviously he likes, likes Dan's. <laughs> so, uh, probably would have been a more interesting, um thing if I did it that way, because it would have at least seemed like more I regretted my actions than just, well, I guess I'm just going to go up and fucking kill him. But it is what it is. I took the path that I did. Also, uh, Hayden is not going to be happy with us now. I don't know where she's at. I'm, I'm guessing she's at the police station. I'm going to try there. If not, I'm not really too worried about it. But yeah, if you decide to keep Dan's alive, you are able to romance him at this point. So if you guys are like, oh, are we able to, you know, you know, when can we romance Dan's? Because you can't rom romance him before that point. Kind of like how you can't romance uh, Kate until after you do her quest. Um, If you wait until... But yeah, but you can romance Dan's at that point in which... uh. The, I think her name's Hayden again? I can't remember. The girl who basically told us where Dan's was. But um, if you uh, talk to uh, Hayden, she um, she's kind of like, uh, you know, she wishes she could be with Dan's. Like, she's not happy. But if you don't romance Dan, she's like, okay, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm down. I will definitely uh, complete help defend. the. I did not complete that whatsoever. <laughs> country, country Crossing's going to have to do with it. I can't believe I said Crunchy Crossing. <laughs> the Country Crossing can deal with their own shit. Alright, I don't see Hayden here, and I was hoping this dude would at least have something to say about us killing Dance, but I guess he's just one of those, you know, gotta do your job kind of guys. So, if I see if I see her, I will talk with her, and we'll get her little dialogue out of her. Again, I, I could be wrong, I think she shows up with Maxin when that happened. I could be wrong, I, I, I only remember it because I watched, uh, if, if you want to see full details, go watch the Oxhorn video on it, he goes into great detail so you can watch that as much as you want to, he goes, you know, again, into greater detail about all that. I don't think she quits the Institute either way, whether they, uh, exile Dan's or not. So, anyway, time to go back to the Pridwin because I would like to see if Kells will give me the side quest. I'd like to do the side quest today and then I think I'm going to end today's session. Can't remember if he gives us both side quests or just one. Like I said, I got two more I have to do. The, the, the suffered from an attack. Yes, they have. Yeah, I don't care. I find it funny the other one completed it, but this one did. You want to know the funny thing? I don't think I've showed off the location yet. I went into that by accident, by the way. But the funny thing is, is that I specifically made that location where there's just an elevator that's up and there's a bunch of logs attached to it. Or sorry, like structures attached to it. So because the structures are attached to it, they, um, it's really funny. It's just, it's just hanging off of one elevator. So it doesn't even look like it, it, it's sturdy at all, you know? Looks like the fucking, some of the, some of the weird structures in Symphony of the Night. Which I just played recently, it's a lot of fun. Come on, Kales, I want a side quest. Up, Paladin. Let me make one thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? I'm busy. 
I'm busy, Captain, but I'll see what I can do. The Brotherhood is not some mercenary company. <laughs> you have responsibilities, Paladin. I expect you to act like it. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. If so, that's a serious security risk. That's what worries me. If there is a traitor, our entire operation here could be in jeopardy. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? <laughs> Too busy. <laughs> I have other responsibilities, Captain. I'm making this your responsibility, Paladin. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. <laughs> I just wanted to give Kels uh, some, some love. FYI, he is... Um... That is the quest I was talking about. He is a second in command, by the way. So if for some reason anything happens to Elder Maxon, which I don't know. Like, I really don't know if you go into most of these places and just fucking kill everybody for no reason. I'm sure with the railroad, you, um... Nothing to report right now, Paladin. We just skip this particular mission. Same with some other stuff as well. But, yeah. Anyway, I want to see what that other quest is just to see if I can at least get it now. So I'll be right back. Plus, I want to get some water. I am out. Alrighty guys, I am back, and uh, I remembered what the quest was, it should not be something that we will, um... What the fuck? <laughs> that, that became fucking buggy. But no, um, it, it turns out it's something that, um... I was about to say, where's my jetpack? Um, the, the quest should be given to uh, uh, us along the way, but it's just something we don't have to do. Good. It needed to be done. Let me guess. Captain Kell sent you... Maybe. I'm just looking around. Sir, if you don't have business here, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Ah, Sergeant right, all right. Gavel. Sorry, I'm just Let being an ass today. Captain Kell sent you. My boyfriend died. The captain said you could brief me on the missing supplies. Well, let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. <laughs> Is there anything wrong with the We've missing supplies that have been around here? To our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood needs to operate. Passes through here. <laughs> Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. Access is strictly limited to the logistics detail, and we track every crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. I find it funny that, uh, by the way, I just realized that I left my hat on, my hard hat on. Why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, try to stay out of our way, sir. Tell me about the logistics division. I've been in charge of this unit for almost ten years now. We're a small group. We stick together. And we keep the Brotherhood running. Where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. Lucia and Clark? Knight Lucia and Initiate Clark. They were just posted to this detail a few weeks ago. They're still learning their way around, but I'll have them in shape soon enough. If you have to badger someone with your questions, it might as well be them. You know, I am really fucking happy I took off this power armor for most of the, the Institute quests, because holy shit, this gets in the way so bad. Part of me wonders if it's the jetpack, but I think it's, I because even the Raider armor is getting in the way, and I don't think it raises that at all. That's all for now, Sergeant. Take my advice, sir. Poke around a little. Then tell the captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. Goddamn, dude is not happy about this. Anyway, uh, this isn't an important quest, so I'm taking off. No, where's my... There we go. I want to have the power armor helmet on. <laughs> Alrighty then. You hear about the thefts, right? Look, I already told Sergeant Gavel everything I know. You already spoke with Gavel? He questioned the entire unit. None of us saw anything. Look, I want to get to the bottom of this as much as anyone. What do you want to know? Tell me about the missing supplies. I really don't know anything. I've heard the rumors, same as everyone else. That's... that's all. What rumors have you heard? 
Well, they say raiders with stealth boys hit the terminal every night. That supplies disappear faster than we can bring them in. It's a lot of garbage. I usually work the night shift. Believe me, the only thing you risk dying of is boredom. You know, you would think there'd be more attacks here. Tell me about the logistics unit. There are what? Ten of us now? Something like that. Our division reports to Proctor Teagan, up on the Pridwin. Sergeant Gavel handles day-to-day -day operations. He's run logistics for years. Other than the sergeant, there's Lucia, me, the scribes, and a few other knights who aren't fit for field duty. Lucia? Excuse me. Knight Lucia. We joined the Brotherhood together. She'll probably get assigned to a patrol team soon. Me? I'll still be stuck here. That's all, Initiate. Sir? Alrighty then. Well, didn't really get much from him. Now try him to talk to Lucia. I loved you in Smash Brothers. Could you tell me where... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't think we've met. Knight Lucia Logistics. What can I do for you, Paladin? I'm conducting an investigation into the missing supplies. You're looking into this personally, sir? Is it really that bad? I'm not sure I can be of much help, but... Um, what do you want to know? What's the security like around here? It's tight. At least two knights and a scribe on duty at all times. And we've got the entire base right here. We don't have much to worry about. Is there any way to get past all that security? Hmm. Well, you'd have to be in logistics. We're the only ones authorized to bring supplies in or out. Then what? Well, there's no way you'd get a full crate of supplies off base. With all the patrols, someone would notice. But why steal anything in the first place? The Brotherhood provides everything we need. No one here has any connection to the Commonwealth. I don't know. None of this makes any sense. What's it like working in logistics? It's not a bad post. Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it and some don't. Like Clark. <laughs> ooh, ooh, shit. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time. God damn it. Two years ago. I didn't quick Always save too. Fuck. Together. New recruits and all. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time. About sure. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the Rude. Do you know anything about the missing supplies? Not really. I've heard it's mostly food and um vacuum tubes? No, sorry, they just lost those. You lost some vacuum tubes? How often are supplies lost around here? Someone had just filed them in the wrong place, apparently. Clark found them the next day. A little things do happen, but it never amounts to much. The sergeant may complain, but Proctor Teagan and his scribes are very thorough. One or two crates, maybe, but not this many. That's all for now. Let me know if you need anything else. Now, where was I? Alrighty then. So where do we need to talk to now? Here we go. Okay. Sergeant. No luck? I told you it was a waste of time. Listen, I questioned every soldier in this unit. I didn't find anything. You're not going to find anything. If you insist on going through with this, go find some real evidence. You're an officer, and you've got the captain's backing. You could search every berth on the Pridwin, and no one would raise a finger to stop you. Now, is there anything else you need from me? Tell me about the missing supplies. We're down over 20 crates. Oh, if shit. You believe the scribes. All food. Dried meat, Instamash, mac and cheese. It doesn't make sense. I could see someone stealing weapons or tech, but our thief goes to all this trouble for a lifetime supply of cram. That's all. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Especially after he told me the stuff about the food. All right. I gotta find our own stuff now. Where do we have to go? Oh. Search for evidence. Well, they got a place they want us to go, so let's go find. I can't tell if it's pointing to this place in general or if something else is going on. But let's see, is it like outside of here? Do I need to look at the local map? No, it looks like it's inside. Alright, give me a second. I'm gonna head over there off screen. Oh, that already fell. I thought this was part of the fucking, uh, 
the the Pridwin when in the last session when when the fucking Pridwin fell. I thought that was part of it. Nope, apparently it was already here beforehand. That is weird though. They're stealing food and not weapons. So that's probably not. Oh, do we have to just go up to the thing? What? Wait, do we have to go to the Pridwin? Yeah, why are we going to the Pridwin for evidence? That's weird. Am I missing something? Am I talking to Kells, the C? He's, he's not going to be happy with my stupid-ass questions. <laughs> I don't know shit about the military, but I know he's not going to be happy about dumb-ass questions from me. <laughs> Sir, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> are we just supposed to convince him otherwise? Because uh, there, there is a reason for it. It's not, it's not nothing, I can tell you guys that much. Oh, by the way, uh, just just to bring this up, we we brought down the Pridwin, FYI. This is a notice to all personnel. Please think of your brothers and sisters down below. Well, that's good that we know there's shit over here. But no, <laughs> just, just to bring it up, there are fucking kids up here somewhere. They're like little initiates, basically. So when you bring down the place, you actually do kill a bunch of kids as well. So keep that in mind if you don't want to kill kids for some reason. For some odd reason, if you don't want to kill kids, don't know why you wouldn't. But, you know, for whatever reason, you know. You're just like, hey, you know, kids, uh, I fucking hate kids, man. I feel I, I feel like nice. when I do ever, oh, we got a log in there, nice. All right, so we got to read that uh, night's log. But, um, it says read too, so I'm guessing it's something else. But, um, but no, if you, um, I, I can't tell whenever I do end up reading the, oh, Lucia's personal key. Does that open that? That's weird. I don't think it's that terminal. I'm going to read that later anyway. But um, I am curious what I'm going to do. Because I do want to play Fallout 1 and 2 in the future. I don't know when. Because I know I'm not going to do as good of a playthrough as Oxhorn did on his stuff. That was really great. I, I love watching that shit all the time. But when I do do it, I know I do want to do like an Evil Karma type playthrough. I don't know if I want to kill kids though, man. It's like a tough one for me, you know. Like, I get it. It's a game. I'm not one of those people who think it's that big of a deal. But I don't know, man. It, I know there's a lot of fucking options that go away from it if you do. So it's like, is, is, is there really a benefit to it besides being an asshole? If, if you guys have any opinions on that, let me know if you, uh, what you guys would like from me. Anyway, uh, we'll read this one first from Lucia. Have you been in my locker? Clark, what's going on? After all we've been through, I can't believe you do something like this. Look, this is too much even from you. Touch my things again, I'm reporting you to Captain. Aw, shit. That is weird, though. Like, my guy, like, are you doing the equivalent of ra raiding a fucking panty drawer? What the fuck? Alright. So yeah, this is one of those computer things. So, let's read this. Welcome to Lucia. Please select an entry. What is it? Year 2, Day 17. Today was my last day as an initiate. Tomorrow morning I report to Elder from a commission, or for commissioning. I'm finally going to be a knight. The Brotherhood is everything I hope for. Family, honor, um, security. I've met people with vision and courage like Elder Maxon. I've made friends like Clark. I've uh, proven myself in battle. I can't imagine going back to uh, to civilian life now. My only regret is that Clark won't be going through the ceremony with me. We do everything together, but he's been avoiding me lately. I wanted to talk tonight like we used to, but he just went to bed said he wasn't feeling well. That is weird. Day 18. Today I stood before the Elder. He spoke of my life before the Brotherhood, my time as an initiate, and my future as a knight. It only took a few minutes, but it felt like the most important conversation of my life. A few of my friends were waiting outside to congratulate me, even Proctor Ingram came, but not Clark. I heard later that he hasn't reported for his duty shift on the bridge. No one seems to know where he was. It was almost midnight before he got back, and he went to bed without saying a word. Interesting. Day 23. Clark and I have been uh, posted to logistics at the base. Working supply may not be as exciting as patrol duty, but it needs to be done. Clark seems to resent it when he talks to me at all. I'm worried about him. I always looked up to Clark, but he seems like a different person lately, like he's just given up. At first I thought he was just jealous, but there's something else going on, something he isn't telling me. If I can get him to open up, maybe he, we can still work things out. Can I just say real quick, too, I like how the captain down at the airport, or, yeah, would that be the captain? Yeah, whatever the dude down there was. I like how he was just like, man, I talked to everybody and asked if they stole anything at all. They said, no, things are good here. I don't know what they're up, I don't know what they're thinking about at all. <laughs> I mean, I guess the food, it just being food would throw that thing up there, but still. It's just funny to me that he's like, I talked to everybody who could have been the thief, and they said they didn't steal anything at all, so I believe my soldiers. It just seems weird. Anyway, 
This is getting out of high on Clark's been late to a shift three times this week. Each time I found him made sure uh I found him and made sure he didn't forget again, but I can't keep covering for him like this. I think Sergeant uh oh, sorry, Sergeant's the, the, the dude's name. But uh, Sergeant Gavel is starting to suspect something is wrong. When I get back last night, my footlogger was a mess. I think Clark has been going through my things. What's the matter with him? Why won't he talk to me? Interesting. Okay. I didn't read the thing. Where do we need to go next? Oh, so now we have to uh, confront the... No, not what I'm about to do, damn it. Okay, yeah. So if you... um, I'm guessing if you, spat, if you pass that speech check, you go straight to... Her telling you what's going on, but I don't know probably a good idea to read that, show off some more stuff, so I'm fine with that. Because I doubt I would be breaking into anything for the uh, for my next session where I read through a bunch of the Brotherhood stuff, like I did for the Institute. Not sure if I'm gonna finish the Brotherhood that day. I don't know if I just want to make that a session in and of itself, and then just go on to something else. Because trust me, the the last side quest we have to do is nothing important at all. You know, I thought about uh. Quick saving, but or quick saving, fast travel again. We didn't do the we didn't do the superhero drop. What the fuck? <laughs> or at least the noise at the end. I do like how it prevents fall damage, though. That is one of the cool things I like about power armor in this game. Two more spools and oh, sorry. Uh, can I help you? You've been covering for Clark. Why? What? What are you talking about? I read your journal, Lucia. I want to know what's going on here. You what? I... I... <sighs> All right. Clark and I joined the Brotherhood around the same time. He's been my closest friend for years, but since the battle, I feel like I'm losing him. The battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort. Guns blazing. My guy. Get my guy. <laughs> People are talking here, asshole. And cut them down and hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark, he hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just <laughs> my guy, this is a private conversation. I noticed him slipping off by himself once or twice a day. I never thought much of it, but do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but I'm worried about him. All right. Yep. Now we got a Shadow Clark, which I wish All I was right. ready for this. That's it for today. <laughs> Conveniently. All right. So I guess we have to shut. Oh, no, no, not not load, not load, save. So obviously, this is where we bring out the fucking stealth boys I never use. All right. Coco. Cool, cool. Yep. Stealth boys. Quick save right here. How's it going, my man? How you doing? Things going well. Yeah, you know, just uh, normal paladin things. Oh boy. I need to get back to work. Excuse me. I know you guys don't have to sit through this, so I'm just gonna speed through this. I'm off duty. Leave me alone. All right, he caught me, but it doesn't look like he's super. Uh... Okay, cool. Yeah, thankfully this isn't one of those things where you, uh, fuck up. Alright, here's a stealth boy. Yep, this is us in stealth boy, FYI, since I almost never use these. I'm hiding my guy, you do not see me. Just go. You know, if I remembered we were, uh, shadowing this guy... Oh, good, are we good? Okay. No, I'm I'm over here. I you can't see me. I'm over here, okay? <laughs> hey. What are you doing out here? Nothing. <laughs> I was following you. What? I'm well, I'm just out for a walk. <laughs> and I wanted some fresh air. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to head back in a few minutes. Don't wait up. Just, just straight up fucking tell him I'm following you. Duh. <laughs> Alright, I think I broke it. I'm about to reload. Nope. Reload for my save. 
I do love it though. I'm following you. What? <laughs> My guy, do you, do you, can you at least have like maybe a little bit of fucking like being a fucking somebody who can sneak? Like what the have fuck? You ever fired a minigun? You know, I'm very happy they just have this fucking check mark on this guy so I can know exactly where he is. No wonder why this guy fucking takes forever to get back to his shift. He has to be fucking so fucking annoying. Taking forever to get to where he wants to fucking go, asshole. And I'm out of stealth boys now. Oh, looks like the game's telling me he, uh... Okay, cool. Looks like the game's telling me he went into this thing over here. Can I just say, though, when I'm kneeling over like this, that little fucking middle part almost looks like a tiny top hat <laughs> for the jetpack. All right, cool, cool. All right. Boston Airport Ruins. That's right, I talked about this at the end of the uh, last session. I was like, we'll be here at some point. You all laughed at me. Y'all laughed at me. Pretty sure we don't have to be sneaky anymore. We can go in guns a blazing. Oh. Hmm. Facility for the card. Yep, looks like we need a card for this, so we gotta go down the hard way. Is that the only way to go? Or is there somewhere else to go? Nope. I was hoping maybe it'd be one of those elevator things where you can just uh <laughs> jump down basically. Ooh, ghouls. That is interesting, though, finding out that there were ghouls here beforehand. I do wonder, can you come here before the in before the Brotherhood gets here and find a lot of the ghouls over there? That'd be interesting. I'm surprised how many times that guy's been down here that he did not kill the ghouls uh, himself. Knight Ryland's... Ooh, hollow tag. Okay. Every time I read hollow tag, I think it's a fucking hollow tape. I'm like, okay, cool, interesting stuff. And it's like, ah, oh, nah, just a, just a dog tag that showed he died. Oh, big fucking deal. <laughs> I say jokingly. Oh. Oh, lovely, of course. Oh, no. You know, I talked about how I kept a bunch of fucking explosives with me and I haven't been using them. So here we go. Not looking well, are you, buddy? Probably didn't need to do that. Cool, I got him. Oh, no, I didn't. Lame. All right. Ooh, shoots an additional projectile. That's actually pretty... Wait, no, don't I already have that? Yeah, I already have that. <laughs> That's my two-shot weapon. I didn't realize there was another one. Damn, what does this one have? 50% damage resistant while aiming. That's... I never aim with those guns, so I probably wouldn't find that as useful. Especially not as useful as my does more damage weapon. Which I haven't used in a bit. I can bring that fucker out. God, love this fucking gun. I don't know what it is. I don't know why this gun has done so well for me. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> haven't used it in a while, apparently. There we go. Be nice if I actually aimed at the guy. Well, that hurt. This would probably hurt even more. <laughs> I don't think that killed anybody, sadly. Oh, that might have. Actually, I saw somebody die from the explosion from the car. But you know what? I call that a success. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, damn. Let me get a level up, though. I want to be able to run faster. That's all. <laughs> that is the fastest I have ever taken a fucking level up in this entire playthrough. No, no joke. Easy. Easily the fastest. How the fuck are you not dead yet? Oh, going one. You gotta go. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe you can bring him to life for once. You, you gonna finally bring him to life, my guy? Do you have to kill him all first and then he does it? Oh, here we go. Is he gonna do it finally? Okay, here we go. Yep. As you can see, he brings him to life. I don't think I've showed that off yet. So, here we go. 
I'm pretty sure they're- I'm pretty sure they were at full health. I don't know if they have any kind of, like, if their, like, max HP goes down or some shit. That's what I would do. Just to kind of make it so they can't just constantly keep bringing them back to life. I mean, I don't know if there's a limit. I don't think I've ever had it happen more than once, so I'm not, like... I don't think it's anything you have to be super worried about, but there you go. I talk about it all the time, and I actually showed it off for once. They really don't do it that often, though. I mean, it kind of makes sense as, like, an issue in that. What the hell? Wasn't this not open a second ago? Oh, no, because we're going up the... Never mind. <laughs> I remember how fucking garage parking works now. I've only ever had to do it when I started going to university. 